Now, when you first listen to these two responses, you might find yourself seeing more similarities than differences between them. For example, both speakers use a number of interjections. Interjections are sounds we make when we're still thinking of what to say next. They're usually filler words like um and uh and hmm. Here's a snippet from the level 7 response. Do you notice all the times the speaker says um and uh? And here's the level 12 response. Notice that there are just as many interjections here as in the level 7 response. If you'd like to view these transcripts in more detail, you can access them as a PDF download alongside this video. Okay, back to interjections. You should um, try to avoid using too many filler words like this, but um, everyone uses them once in a while. As you can see, it's still possible to achieve a level 12 response, even if you include interjections. Both speakers introduce the topic at the start, making it clear what they will be talking about. Each response links its ideas with appropriate transitions. Here's the level 7 response. You can see that they clearly mark their ideas with first, second, and third. And now here's the level 12 response. This speaker starts with first of all, but then their transitions aren't as obvious. This is also fine. For example, later in his response he says, since I'm a software engineer. This is also a transition because it's clearly indicating a shift in ideas. Both responses start very general and then get more specific. This is a great way to organize your response. For instance, the level 7 speaker suggests that the friend research the software development industry before she discusses the job itself. The level 12 speaker suggests that the friend scan the overall workplace before he launches into specific things the friend should do. Keep in mind that neither of these responses is from a native English speaker. It's still entirely possible to achieve a level 12 even if English isn't your first language. And finally, both speakers talk at an appropriate pace with very few long pauses. So what makes one of these responses level 7 and one level 12? The most obvious difference relates to how well each speaker follows the instructions in the task. The instructions for this speaking task state that you've got a friend who's recently been hired by a software company, and you're supposed to give her advice about her first day of work. Instead of doing this, though, the speaker in the level 7 response includes a number of points for her friend to note when she's preparing for her job interview. So, as you can see, the speaker didn't really follow the instructions. The level 12 response, on the other hand, follows the instructions correctly and includes a number of suggestions about what to do on the first day of work. This speaker also adds supporting details from his personal experience as a software engineer, which the level 7 speaker neglects to do. It's good to note that any personal details you add don't actually have to be true. We don't know if this speaker was actually a software engineer or not. All that matters is whether what you say is relevant to the speaking task. Now let's look at how each speaker ends the response. The level 7 speaker doesn't have time to develop a conclusion before the time runs out. It's good to keep an eye on the timer so that you have 5 or 10 seconds left at the end to tie up your response. Try to avoid having your last sentence get cut off. The level 12 speaker, though, has gauged his time well enough to include a clear conclusion, demonstrating how his friend can excel at her new job. To wrap things up, Let's talk about the main reasons why the level 12 speaker scored so much higher than the level 7 speaker. The biggest factor here is task fulfillment. The level 7 speaker misunderstood the task and gave her friend advice about a job interview. The level 12 speaker, on the other hand, clearly followed the instructions, giving his friend advice about the first day of work. The level 7 speaker didn't really draw on her personal experience at all. This is something that the level 12 speaker does well, thereby adding much more detail to his response. 
Lastly, the level 7 speaker didn't manage to finish in time and was cut off mid-sentence. But the level 12 speaker was able to pace his response well enough so that he could end it on time with a solid conclusion. In addition to these things, remember that um, a few interjections are totally fine. You should include clear introductions and transitions and you should move from a general to a specific description of the situation. Don't worry if you have an accent. An accent is fine as long as you speak clearly, and try not to leave any long pauses when you're speaking.